Next, I'm going to discuss about the try and method of this program. So if you debug the code, control comes to main function. Here after that, go inside. So actually, I have taken five integer variable. First is or d1. So that is initialized to zero. Next to or d2. Also initialized to zero. Here after n1. Initialized to zero. N2. Also initialized to zero. And one more variable n. So here after print the function. So whatever I double code that display into the output screen. Enter number to find nearest prime number and whatever I'm going to enter so that received by n. So I'm going to enter n value 6. So here after control comes to follow. So n value go to i. So this is i and n value go to i. So 6 come. Now here after there is no any condition. So blindly that coincide. So enter if n prime. So i receive at your 6. So n prime function is there. So now control come to this point and this call n prime function. So at a, this is one parameter here, one parameter. So i value int s receive i value. So at a, s become 6. Now here after control comes to inside. K start from 0 and now 4 or loop. So at a J value start from 1 and check the condition 1 less than equal to S value 6. So 1 less than equal to 6 condition is true. So that coincides. So at a S mod J. So S value is 6, J value 1. So 6 mod 1 double equal to 0 condition is true. So 6 mod 1 remainder from 0, 0 equal to 0 condition is true. So that coincide. And at here that increase the value of k. k is now 1. Here after j increase. So j is 2 now. And check the condition 2 less than equal to s. So s value is 6, 2 less than equal to 6 condition is true. So that coincides. So at here 6 mod 2 double equal to 0. So 6 mod 2, remainder comes 0, 0 equal to 0, condition is true. So that coincides here, that increase the value of k. So k is now 2. Here after that call, increase the value of j also. So j is 3 now. Here after check the condition, 3 less than equal to 6. Condition is true. So that coincides. So at here, or 6 mod 3, double equal to 0. So at here, remainder comes 0, 0 equal to 0, condition is true. So that coincides, increase the value of k. So k is now 3. Here after go up and increase the value of j. So j is now 4. So at here 4 less than equal to 6. Condition is true. So that coincides. So at here 6 mod 4. So you divide by 1 times remainder come to 2 double equal to 0. Condition is not true. So that not coincide. Here that increase the value of j. So j is now 5. Here after check the condition 5 less than equal to 6. Condition is true. So that coincide. So at here 6 mod 5. Remainder come 1. 1 double equal to 0 condition is not true, so that not coincide here. After that, go up and increase the value of j. So j is now 6. So at here, check the condition 6 equal to 6 condition is true, so that coincide. 6 mod 6 or remainder come 0, 0 equal to 0 condition is true, so that coincide here. That increase the value of k. So k is now 4. Now here after j increase, so j is 7 now. Check the condition 7 less than equal to 6 condition is not true, so that not coincide. So at a control comes to this one. If if k double equal to 2, so k value is now 4. So condition is not true, so that go to else point here, return false. So here after control comes to this point. Int n prime. So this value is false, so that not coincide. So here after that go up and increase the value of i. So i become 6 to 7. Check the condition. So there is no any condition. So that coincides currently. So at n prime i. So i value this time receive 7. 
So again, the same process can continue. So I do. Uh, end by map, end by function call. So now control comes to this point, int s. So s this time receives 7. Here after that coincide. So k value start from 0. Or j, uh, j value start, um, again, that comes to for loop. At here, j start from 1. And check the condition 1 less than equal to s value is now. This time, s receives 7. So s value is now 7. So s receives 7 at here. 1 less than equal to 7 condition is true. So that coincides. So s mod j. 7 mod 1 double equal to 0 condition is true. So that go inside and increase the value of k. So k is now 1. Here after that go up and increase the value of j. So j is 2 now. Check the condition 2 less than equal to 7 condition is true. So that go inside. So at here 7 mod 2 remainder go 1. So 1 double equal to 0 condition is not true. So k not increase, j increase. So j is now 3. So at here 3 less than 7 condition is true. So at here 7 mod 3 double equal to 0 condition is not true. So not coincide. Here after j increase. So j is 4 now. Check the condition 4 less than equal to 7 condition is true. So that coincides. So at here 7 mod 4 double equal to 0 condition is not true. So that not coincide. j increase. So j is now 5. So here after 5 less than equal to 7 condition is true. So 7 over 5 double equal to 0 condition is not true. So that cannot increase. So here after j increase. So j is 6 now. Here after 6 less than equal to 7 condition is true. So that coincides at here. 7 mod 6 double equal to 0 condition is not true. So not coincide. j increase. So here 7 equal to 7 condition is true. So 7 mod 7. Double equal to 0, 7 mod 7, remainder comes 0, 0 equal to 0, condition is true, so that coincides, k increase. So k is now 2. Here after j increase, so j is now 8. So right here, 8 less than equal to 7, condition is not true, so that not cancel. So right here, check if k double equal to 2. So k value is not 2, condition is true, so that coincides, so that return 2. So here after the control go back, this point, n prime, n prime, so this condition is true, so that coincides. So at uh, d1 equal to i minus n. So i value is now uh, 7, and a, n value is now 6. So say n minus 6, d1 become 1. So d n become 1 and here after i value go to n1. So i value is now 7, 7 go to n1. So here after break statement comes, so that terminate the loop. Now control comes to this point. So I have for loop. Now int i go to n. So n value go to i. So n value is now 6, 6 go to i. So i become 6. And there is no any condition. So that coincides. So at here, if n prime, so at here, i value receives 6. Here after, that call the function, now control comes to this point. So at here, this term s receives 6. So again, the same process continue. k start from 0. And j start from 1. And check the condition 1 less than equal to 6. Condition is true. So that coincides. So I enter 6 mod 1 double equal to 0. So 6 mod 1. Remainder comes 0. 0 equal to 0. Condition is true. So that coincides. So k increase. So k is now 1. Here after j increase. So j is now 2. Check the condition 2 less than equal to this condition is true. So that coincides. So I have 6 mod 2 double equal to 0. Condition is true. So that increase the value of k. So here after j increase. So j is now 3. Here after check the condition 3 less than equal to 6. Condition is true. So that coincides. So I have 6 mod 3 double equal to 0. Condition is true. So that increase the value of k. So k is now 3. Here after j increase. So j is 4. So I have 4 less than equal to 6. Condition is true. So 6 mod 4 double equal to 0, condition is not true, that not coincide. Here after j increase. So j is now 5. 
check the condition 5 less than equal to 6 condition is true so that will go inside so right here 5 mod or 6 mod 5 do equal to 0 condition is not true so that not increase j increase so j is now 6 check the condition 6 equal to 6 condition is true so that will inside so right here or 6 mod 6 do equal to 0 remainder come 0 0 equal to 0 condition is true so k increase so k is now 4 so here after j is now 7 check the condition 7 less than equal to 6 condition is not true so control comes to if point if k double equal to 2 so k value is now 4 so right here condition is not true so the that go to as part and that return the false so right here now control back to this point if n prime so this value is false so that not coincide here after that decrease the value of i so i become or 6 to 5 so i become 5 now now check the condition there is no any condition so at a n prime i value this time this is 5 so again the, that call the function so control comes to this point and s receive 5 so s value is now this term 5 so k start from 0 again here j start from 1 or check the condition 1 less than equal to 5 condition is true so enter or uh, 5 mod 1 double equal to 0 condition is true so k increase so k is now 1 here after j increase so j is 2 check the condition 2 less than equal to or 5 condition is true, 5 mod 2 double equal to 0, condition is not true, so that not coincide, so k increase, oh sorry, j increase, so j is 3 now, check the condition, 3 less than equal to 5, condition is true, so 5 mod 3 double equal to 0, condition is not true, so again that go up, increase the value of j, so j is 4 now, check the condition, 4 less than 5, condition is true, so that coincides, so 5 mod 4 double equal to 0, condition is not true, so that not coincide, so that is j increase, so j is now 5. So right here, 5 less than equal to 5, condition is true. 5 mod 5, remainder comes 0. 0 equal to 0, condition is true. So that increase the value of k. So k is now 2. k is now uh, 2. So here after j increase, so j is now uh, 6. Check the condition, 6 less than equal to 5, condition is not true. So that not coincide here. k equal to 2. So k value is now 2 at here. So return this value so that go to return and true. So here control comes to this point and this condition is true. So that coincide. So n minus i value go to d1. So n value is now 6, i value is now 5. 6 minus 5. So d1 become 1. I value go to n2. So i value is now 5. 5 go to n2. So n2 become 5. Here after break a statement comes, so that terminate the loop. Now control comes to this point. So at here d1 less than equal to d2. So d1 value is now 1 less than equal to 0. So this condition is not true. So that go to as part here. So at here d2 value is 0 less than equal to d1. So 0 less than equal to 1 condition is true. So that coincides so right here. So this display into the output screen for sending because uh, uh, n1, n2 and n1 are integer. So I tell this display into nearest prime number. So the value of n, so n value i into 6 equal to n2 value. So n2 value is now 5 and f and n1 so n1 value of 7 so if you enter number 6 then output come 5 and 7 so suppose if i enter the value of 9 then output come or 7 and 11 so you should try with any other number like you can also try with 5 here yeah. and uh, i think this condition is matched so uh, that there that print nearest prime number first entry is uh, n1 n1 so at the uh, output for nearest prime number 5 is 5 and 
So this is the drive method of this program. So I hope guys you understand. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video.